Josh Fralick here with JP Enterprises, and we are down here getting ready for USPSA PCC Nationals, training with uh, Timu Rintala and Joe Farewell. And what we wanted to work on today was one of the challenges that you face when you're shooting PCC. Uh, one of the difficult things is shooting around a weak side wall. So when you come up to a fault line and you've got a wall here and you've got a tough shot, there are three different ways to approach this. Right? We're gonna walk you through all three ways today so that you can be successful when you're running a PCC in a tight weak side lean. So the first way that we're gonna run uh, a tight weak side lean is we're gonna run the offset dot. Get a lot of questions about the offset dot, what it's for, why we use it. And one of the primary reasons that we use it is this weak side lean. So when we come into position, instead of some of the other things that you're gonna see in a minute, like the weak shoulder, uh, different options, I'm just gonna roll the gun. So I come into position, roll the gun, I keep the bore directly under the dot, meaning that uh, my zero is still gonna be accurate at 50 yards, 30 yards, 70 yards, whatever the distance the target is, because the bore is directly under the optic. And it also allows me to have a more comfortable head position. If I'm gonna be trying to get into the red dot and keep a good cheek weld in the primary dot while I'm leaning like that, it's a very difficult position. So we run the offset dot so you can simply roll the gun. So that's the first option. Let's take a look at the second. Hey, my name is Tim Rintala. And the second option of shooting weak side of the wall is just simply move your rifle for PCC on your left shoulder. Same grip, or you can move your left left hand just a little bit to make it easy. And that's it. That's that's really simple trick to do. So instead of going like this, like this, really easy. Some shooters have to shoot, uh, close their right eyes to see the dot better, get the sight picture. So you have to just test it through. All right guys, so Joe Farrell here. And the last option we talked about is going to completely different shoulder, different grip entirely. So coming into this position, instead of leaning or switching uh, shoulders only, we're gonna switch our entire grip around. So it's gonna look something like this. We're gonna take our weak hand, drop it back to the receiver so we have a good grip on it. Rotate shoulders and bring our strong hand up to the, uh, the fore end, dropping our weak hand back here. Now one thing that you want to keep in mind is as you drop your weak hand from the front of the receiver to the grip, keep your, your, uh, your middle finger clear of the trigger. Even better, you can throw the safety on in between. I run an ambidextrous safety just for that reason. We're able to come back and, and have the safety on so there's no chance of an AD. So as we come up here, coming up on the target, dropping your hand back, switching shoulders, just like that. All right, so those are the three options that we'll use on a regular basis to navigate a weak side hard lean. And really option one is for the simple leans, option two is for a little bit more drastic leans, and then that option three that Joe just showed us is really for the hardest leans out there just to make sure that you're in a good position and you're not gonna fall out of the shooting area dangerously. So use these three options uh, as you see fit to navigate the field courses and you'll have better times better hits on target when you're shooting around a weak side loop. Thanks for watching.